Hey guys. Um, so this is like a blog style type video. I'm trying to find a shirt to put on. Hi guys. Oh my gosh. It's been... Well, it really hasn't been that long. You guys have been on your girl. Like, where's the piercing? Why is it not there? Way do people need to know what's going on? There you go. So, don't mind my hair. It was cute earlier. I don't know what happened. Okay, so, obviously you guys can see the piercing is gone. It's bye-bye. And it's been gone for some months now, honestly. I... Let's see. We are almost in April, and... I took it out probably like November. You guys have probably seen the video where I talked about me getting the piercing, which was almost a year ago. And it's called a surface tragus piercing. And basically, cause I had the dermal. So I will tag all these videos in the card. So if you guys want to just like revert back and just kind of get more of a backstory. But I had just a dermal. Either twice or three times I had that done. And then it just, my body kept rejecting it. So I was just like, okay, let me just go ahead and do the surface tragus, which is just a bar. It's just a bar. And then it has like, like a, <laughs> it has a closure here and a closure here, which is the two dots. I'm sure the people who are watching already know what a surface tragus is because you clicked on this to see about the rejection and all that so yeah it was doing really really well for months like no problems i felt like the healing was beautifully well until in very end of october i noticed like around my birthday which is at the end of october it was just really starting to hurt and like really starting to like ooze i know i'm sorry but that's just what happened it would ooze i would have to clean it with the q-tip all the time like all the time at night and put a band-aid on it because it just was so red and so irritated it was just horrible then i started like looking at it in the mirror like i'd wake up in the morning i was getting ready for work and i would literally look and it almost looked like i, I don't know like i thought my skin looked really yellow and i just was like what the hell like what is that like is that pus in there but no girl it wasn't like it wasn't yellow it was the bar which was silver my body was literally pushing it out to the point where it was stretching my skin it was like literally like one layer of skin and then you could see the bar because at first you could never see the bar it was just like all you saw were just the studs you know on the end of the bar but no you can literally see the bar it was like my skin was like transparent that joker hurt no like my body was like Bitch, we want this out of here like had i not taken taken it out my body just would have pushed it out and it would have been just an open sore if that makes sense all this let's see I'm trying to get the lighting right sorry like all this would have just been open it's such an ugly scar, y'all. Like, it's so freaking ugly. I hate it. But it's okay. Um, So I just took it out one day. It, like, when I tell you that pain, I couldn't take it anymore. So I showered. And I took it out. And when I tell... And it was, like, really swollen, too. Like, even though, you, like, my skin was, like, transparent, it was really swollen. I ended up taking it out. The second I took it out, it was like instant relief. And I can't even get mad at my body because like you're, that's what your body is supposed to do when it sees like a, a foreign object. It is supposed to push it out. You know what I mean? So my body was doing its job, which means essentially your body is, it's, that's, that's healthy. You know what I mean? Like your body should know foreign objects and stuff like that. So... I can't even be mad at my body, but um, I know some of you in the comments are going to be like, are you going to get it again? I'm a little hard headed. I might, but it's just one of those things like 
if the bar didn't work girl I don't know I don't know what else to do I just love that piercing y'all and you know what I don't even mind doing this video because when I was about to get this piercing I definitely did my research so kudos to you for researching before you do that a couple of things just to keep in mind the location because it this does look cute you know what I mean if you work like in a very like professional setting maybe have it a little bit lower you know what I mean something that's easily that can easily be covered up you want to bring it a little higher just make sure it's not in an area where like you're constantly like moving this part of your skin because your body will just I think your body just automatically thinks like this movement is like pushing almost like a pimple a tragus may be better for you versus the dermal it's two totally different piercings if I had to recommend one I would say do the surface tragus because the dermal I just feel like the rejection rate it doesn't matter what shade you are the rejection rate is higher way higher than the tragus plus even if it's fine and you just nick it like you know you scratch here or something it can pop out so easily versus the surface tragus no because it's literally a bar you know what i mean like you have to unscrew and then pull out i know this video is not like the others this is definitely vlog style i'm like moving around i'm on the bed oh dropping lights yeah i just wanted to come on here real quickly uh, this video is not that long and just tell you guys about this i'm sad i didn't even want to talk about it because i loved that piercing but you know it's life it's okay anyway y'all i love you guys so much please like comment and subscribe guys i love you and i will see you in my next video bye